Hello all and welcome to my next video as I make my way through uh, what's kind of considered I guess wave one of the Masters of the Universe Origins line and this is Battle Cat. Um, again my Walmart has a bunch of Battle Cat. No Panther. I had to get Panther online. Uh, Bid Bad Toy Store. But um, they have a ton of Battle Cat. They got like five or six I think when I was there uh, yesterday. So yeah, there you go. As you can see, this is kind of what um, Wave 1 is. He-Man, Tila, Man-at-Arms, Skeletor, Evil, and Beast-Man. So your three heroes, three villains, all six of the figures that we looked at. Battle Cat here, and then Adam and the Sky Sled. Um, I have Adam and the Sky Sled, so we'll get to that later in a different video. But for now, we're just going to take a look at Battle Cat. Um, yeah. Cool. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, the box, uh, just overall, it's got that artwork up top. I really enjoy, like, the artwork and the box designs and the retro look and everything. Um, it's just really cool. With the, you know, retro play, but modern posing, you know. Um, as you can see, there's, like, the back with Skeletor fighting He-Man while he's on Battle Cat. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just crack this guy open. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's open it up from the side here. Slide that right up. Pretty simple enough. Just looks like he has a bit of twist ties. Or not twist eyes, some um, plastic. Plastic be damned, I have scissors. I'm telling you, that's my official catchphrase for this. I have scissors. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, around the mouth. Get in there. Cool. He's got something else. Hold on, where's that? Back paw. And then looks like uh, right around his mouth. Uh, oh. I think he got it. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and get all this like weird plastic off of him. He's got a lot of like, there we go, those. Uh, anymore? Oh, I see. To like keep the helmet on. In the package, at least. All right. There is our battle cat. So, um, somebody was asking me a while back, actually, this is not recent, oh, not a recent question, but when I first expressed uh, that, that I was getting the Masters of the Universe line, and they were like, well, why? You've never been really a big Masters, uh, Masters of the Universe fan. Um, and I was, to be fair, I just never really expressed it. Uh, but what actually kind of really got me into wanting to get these was, uh, that Netflix show, The Toys That Made Us. That is a great show. Um, I think there's some episodes that are missing a lot, like the wrestling episode. Um, I've heard, I've listened to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, where they talk about, like, how all of Zack Ryder's stuff, or Matt Cardona's stuff was cut out. Um, but yeah. Uh, so we have our... Battle Cat. Um, he's got all kinds of articulation. Um, this one's a little stiff. That leg is a little stiff. That front leg. This one on the other side is pretty good. Um, this one, though. Oh, man, that one's not moving a whole lot. He does have articulation there on each leg. Back legs. Hind legs. 
Uh, his paws don't actually move, but the legs do. Uh, tail does go all the way around. Armor does come off. So as you see, like, with it, he kind of looks pretty goofy like that. We got all that. But it does come off pretty easy, just like that. He actually looks more menacing without it. All kinds of head articulation. And then, of course, the armor does come off. I'm not going to take it off, but, yep. So, there we go with that. Um, let's put that back on. Oh, uh, last one. Mouth opens and closes. Put that on there. And then I, I took He-Man back out. I had him packed up, but I went ahead and took him out. So we can see how he... Yeah. I mean, he fits right on. So there you go. And he stays on. Like, yeah, he doesn't really come off. I'm guessing, uh, there's probably a combination that this is a, it's a tight fit, so that's good. But also it's like that, um, kind of soft rubber feel, like a matte feel, as opposed to like a, something real slippery. So I'm sure that helps with the uh, figure staying on. But there you go. There is our battle cat. Um, his legs do move really easily. So like if I just barely kind of do that, they'll move. Um, but it's not too bad. I wish this leg wasn't that stiff. I don't know what's up with that. Like this one moves a lot. This one ain't moving at all. And I don't want to potentially try to force it and break it. So, uh, might have to see if I need to heat up that joint or what. But, um... Yeah, there is our our Battle Cat. Um, like I said, I have the Panther. We'll get to that um, probably uh, after Wave 2, because I think that came at, oh, after Wave 2. Um, so after Wave 2, we'll look at Battle Cat and throw Skeletor on top of him like this. Um, but yeah. That is our battle cat. Not really a whole lot to kind of go over. Um, I mean, like overall, he looks great. I mean, he's got this the bright green, the yellow stripes. I think he looks more menacing without the um, headpiece, the head armor, the helmet. Uh, I mean, I get it. It's iconic, and it's supposed to go on there and everything. But, like, it kind of looks a little goofy from the front. But that looks cool. Like, he just looks really cool there. Um, and on the box art, he doesn't have it on. It's kind of, this is kind of sitting to the side and he mans on him like that. Um, so it is what it is, but yeah, there is our battle cat. Happy to have it. Excited. Can't wait to get to Panthor, uh, later on. Um, and we'll look at, uh, Skeletor with that, but, uh, that is our battle cat with T-Man, and yeah, I'll check you guys out. Uh, we'll do the last video for Wave 1 next. That's going to be the sky, uh, Adam and the Sky Sled, so I'll catch you guys in that video.